you know, I've been giving this a lot of serious thought, and uh, I think I found a way to maybe settle the score, to maybe right the wrongs, to put the words of history in the right order, to let the world know that uh, there was a living legend of the past and all the glory that uh, the man's do, but there's also the living legend of wrestling present. Bruno, against my better judgment, but with all my heart, let me do it one more time. Why don't you and me get in the ring at Valley Forge, sounds like an historical place to go, and settle it once and for all. Now maybe if you got a real good spanking in front of the public eye, you wouldn't be so doggone bitter anymore about all the business that's going on. Think about it. Hey Larry, do you remember that old TV series called Kung Fu? Do you remember the old master? He had a pebble in his hand. And he told the student, he says, when the day comes that you're quick enough, your reflexes are good enough to take that pebble off my hand, that's when you will have become a master yourself. And you know what, Larry? This is your master, and you have never been able to take that pebble off this hand. And don't forget that. Who I'm still the master, and you're still the student, and you still got a ways to go. And if you think that in these past 25 years, I've been sitting in front of my TV, drinking beer, eating popcorn or hot dogs, well pal, you got something else. In fact, I'm going to show you what I've been doing all these years. I'm going to show you what I look like today at 70. And you know what? I look better at 70 than you did in your prime. And if you think that you're just going to come in that rank for five minutes and just embarrass and humiliate me, brother, you don't know what's ahead of you. You don't know what's going to be facing you. And you don't know how re as regretful as you were maybe 25 years ago. I'm going to make you regret it even more this time.